Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Candyware. And today we're going to be making little pumpkin pie earrings. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Candice, or better known as Candyware. And like I had mentioned, we're going to be making these adorable little earrings today. Now this is an easy DIY, so I hope you will enjoy this with me. And happy Canadian Thanksgiving to everybody. Don't forget to check out the description box below to find out all the tools that I make, or that I'm using for this. But without further ado, let's get right onto the DIY. So first we're going to be taking some orange clay and you're going to be adding some allspice to it to give it that uh, type of inside pie look. <laughs> and you're just going to mix that up until you are satisfied with the um, amount of little granules that you have in it. And from there you're just going to squish out and then flatten with any type of rolling pin type aspect until you're satisfied with the thickness. And then from there we're going to take some Sahara clay and use our little pie template and cut out two pieces of some thin Sahara clay. And this is going to be the crust. After that you're going to be taking the same template and cutting out a small bit, only the triangle portion, of the pie filling. After that we're going to be adding a little round dome to the cones and then you can take away the excess clay. After that we can take the crust and add on the filling. Then you can cut off any excess. We're going to be pulling up the back of the crust and then cutting off any little bits and then we're going to be taking a snake and adding that to the very top to be the top of the crust and then we can just use an exacto knife and cut off the excess. And you want to do that for the other one also. After that you're going to take a toothpick and add just some indentations to make it look more like a cake. After that we're going to be adding some chalk pastel. First start with the light color and then go to the darker color. And then you can go on to the very back of the little cake and also the very bottom if you wish. And then I like to texture the very bottom so that when you add your findings on it has something to stick to. Then I, I'm going to be adding on a little bit of white and a little ball and then you can just push it down with a toothpick. After that you can add on some icing and I'll leave in the description box below where to find that video. So you're just going to wrap around the icing until you have that little ball that we created totally covered. You can also add the icing down the sides to make it look like it's dripping. And then it's time to bake according to your clay's instructions. Once it's baked, you can gloss the whole item, or sorry, just the filling and the um, cream. After that is dry, then we can add on the findings. And this is what your finished piece looks like. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed that DIY. I would love to know from you guys, what is your favorite kind of pie? Please don't forget to leave that in the description box below. I would have to say that I am partial to blueberry, but anyways, um, to all of people that are new, this is the place where we make adorable miniature food jewelry every Friday, so I hope you will think about subscribing. Don't forget, I also have a Patreon page, and I just updated it, so it has a lot new reward levels, and goals, and raffles, prizes, lots of fun stuff, so I really hope you'll check that out. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media if you are interested in that. I am the most active on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, so you can see behind the scenes, all that cool stuff, and I just actually started a Twitch account, so every Fridays I'll do a, be doing a live video Q&A come craft night with me, so I hope you will definitely check that out. But thanks so much for watching everyone, I can't wait to see you next week for another Crafty Friday video. Bye!